you are watching the Vantage Point video blog. We haven't been doing that hell of a lot in the last year. I mean, forget live gigs, you can't even really get, to, get together to rehearse. Fortunately though, we do have a Lego band and they are working without a problem because as you can see, they're not worrying about masks or social distancing. They are just playing music. So this is the set for 24 Hours of Freedom video. So that must be Mr. Bailey there with his pink microphone. And then basically I've been take a photo, move him, move him, move him, move him, move him, move him, move him. Maybe spin this, change some lights, take another photo. And if I take 24 out of 24 photos, I will have a second of footage. And you can time that up yourself to work out how long it takes to get a minute and so forth. So I can now show you what I've got so far. There's, it's basically them playing, the band playing here and then there's Blaze goes off on his motorbike down my um, street, which you can't see behind me. So here is 24 Hours of Freedom. for a guitar riff. Don't worry though, it's not me, I'm not going to play guitar. We've got someone who's slightly better. So, here playing The Stranger from our album Tomb of the Eagles, Mr. Liam Kane. <laughs> This song was written in 2003, at the time there was only myself, Murray and Parrick in the band and um, we'd rehearse with Murray on drums and me, Parrick, would play guitar. And um, this rehearsal, Parrick played a couple of riffs which turned out to be the verse riffs. And then the, the following week Murray came in with some music for the chorus and he'd written the words. And, uh, and we took it from there. My only... Um, contribution I think was suggesting we didn't have any guitar or bass under the ver the first verse just so we'd be just drums and vocals. We then recorded that at those same rehearsal studios which was the Groove Tunnel in Lone Head. We would have the three of us in the, in the main room with Murray playing the drums. There would be a guitar amp in one of the other rooms and a, another guitar amp in the, the, the third practice room. And then once we'd recorded the basic track with the drums and two guitars, and Murray would dub in the record a bass line, Patrick would then record a guitar solo and Murray would do the vocals. And that was, at the time, the most fantastic thing we'd ever recorded. Although looking at it now, it's, it's more of a demo. I think when we were at the Groove Tunnel, we recorded about 20 songs. And the 24 breakdowns is only one available to listen to. It's on the... Uh, it came out with the Just When I Wasn't Looking single in 2013, so it's available on Spotify or Amazon or Apple or wherever you listen to your music. We then um, 
I mean, in 2004 we played our first gigs and obviously 24 Hour Breakdown was one of those tunes and then um, we've played it pretty much ever since. I think there's only been two or three gigs where we haven't actually played it. And then um, we then went on to record our first album at Split Level and it felt that was such a step up from the Groove Tunnel. That's when we decided the, the Groove Tunnel recordings could, could no longer be listened to by people. So we as well as um, recording some new songs for the, the Daredevil album, we recorded a few of the old ones. So, that came out in CD in 2008, still available. And then um, this version of 24 Breakdown has a Hammond organ solo, which Matt from Bormsky put down. If you look through the videos on our YouTube page, you should find them, um, find one of them in the recording studio doing that. We then uh, chopped it out when we released a single edit on our Driller Killer EP. And then we've actually recorded a, another version of it in uh, 2017 when we had a studio session booked for a, a guest singer who then uh, couldn't show, so we hurriedly recorded four old tunes to make use of the studio time. And it's not been released because we can't get Neil to finish the mix. We did actually, though, um, send it to Blaze Bailey who, for, to put down vocals to make it a bit different, but then he he wrote back saying, can I change the words? He obviously didn't like singing about the RAC. And can you change the melody? So that became 24 Hours of Freedom. And because he changed the melody to such, the backing track had to change such, so we ended up just re-recording a new backing track at Chambers. So our our 24 breakdown, which is at split level, is still still there, unmixed. Neil keeps telling me he's going to do it soon, but you have to wonder. So that was 24 hour breakdown, and no doubt we'll play it again, should we ever play another gig if uh, Mr. Covid ever disappears. Time to delve into the archive. So we're going back to 2004 now and at Gig and Bannermans and the song From the Bottom of My Heart, which features our original lead guitarist. Unfortunately, I can't remember his name. If only there was somebody who could remind me. A big cheer for Mr. Patrick Mitchell on the lead guitar! Okay, we're going to move away from Vantage Point now and do the top five of something. And this week, we're looking at the top five artworks by Iron Maiden. So, in at number five, we have Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. It's just a fantastic artwork and actually comes with a bonus fantastic artwork on the B-side. At number four, a fantastic album. This is just an absolute classic power slave. Number three, we have Stranger in a Strange Land. And I think this must be a, a foreign copy because I've got Reach Out on the B-side, which I think was in Wasted Years in the UK. Number two, just a brilliant Aces High. I just love the detail of the Eddie on that. And my number one Iron Maiden artwork, Live After Death. So, as you can see, I prefer it made in, in the 80s of artwork wise apart from being a door which was obviously 1990. well that's the end of our first episode of the vantage point blog thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions please let us know in the comments below and we'll try and answer them in future issues until then be obliged if you'd like the video and subscribe to the channel and until the next time, if you go here, there should be a link to a performance of 24 Breakdown with Murray on drums, just like how we originally recorded it. And if you follow the link here, you should hear 24 Hours of Freedom, our recent single with Blaze Bailey. Thanks for watching.